Hey guys, welcome back to Sishko Biology. Today, I'm going to show you how A plus students study photosynthesis this topic. In PD3, you all learned that photosynthesis is a chemical reaction that happened in plants to produce the glucose. But when it comes to Form 5 Biology, photosynthesis it involves two reactions. The first one is the light dependence reactions and the other one is called the light independence reactions. These two reactions will occur in the chloroplast of the plant cell. Let's zoom into the chloroplast. Now, let's look at the big picture of photosynthesis before we start the lesson. So as you guys can see here, light dependence reaction will take in the H2O and light energy to produce oxygen, ATP and NADPH. When it comes to the light independence reaction, it will take up the ATP and NADPH produced by the light dependence reaction together with carbon dioxide to produce the sugar. In conclusion, a photosynthesis reaction can produce oxygen and glucose as a product. Today, we are going to look into this light dependence reaction. Same thing, we are going to draw this out step by step. All right, let's go. So this is the whole process of light dependence reaction that occurs in the thylakoid. But sometimes it's very hard for you to understand by just looking at the sentences right here. So we need to draw it out. Now, before we start, we are go going to look at the name of the reaction first. This reaction is called light dependence reaction. It means that this reaction must depend on the light. It needs light to carry out the reaction. So right here, we provide the source of light to the chloroplast. Since this is a light dependence reaction, plant cell must have something to absorb the light. What is the something that can absorb the light? Is the chloroplast. So let's draw a chloroplast right here. Label chloroplast. Inside the chloroplast, we have thylakoid. Thylakoid is a structure that looks like a pancake that stack up in the chloroplast and form the things called granum. Again, label this thylakoid. On the surface of the thylakoid, it has a lot of photosynthetic pigment and these pigments can help the thylakoid to absorb the sunlight. The light dependence reactions, it happen in the thylakoid membrane. So this part is called the thylakoid membrane. Thylakoid membrane. So right now, we are going to zoom into the thylakoid membrane and then draw it vertically. Now, before we start, please keep in mind that this diagram is only applicable for your XBM syllabus. When you go to the higher level, you will learn the photosynthesis process, which is much more complicated compared to this one. All right, so let's start. Right here, we are going to draw a photosynthetic pigment here. Label it photosynthetic pigment. So what is photosynthetic pigment? Let me give you an example. For example, like chlorophyll pigments. Chlorophyll pigment. Photosynthetic pigment is like all the metals that exist in this world. It's made up of atoms. So when it's made up of atoms, it has some electrons inside the pigments. So we are going to draw some electrons right here. When the photosynthetic pigments absorb the sunlight from the sun, this electron, they will get very, very excited. This electron is so excited to shoot up from the photosynthetic pigments and it will go to a higher energy level, which is somewhere over here. And then this electron will go through a series of electron carriers. So all these are the electrons carrier. The electron will go through a series of electron carriers and then eventually you reach a turbine-like structure. Now, in real life, there is something that is literally looks like a turbine that can be found in the thylakoid membrane. So this electron will spin the turbines right here to produce the ATP energy. This ATP, later on, it will go to the light independence reactions. All right, that's it for this part. Let's come back to the electron. After this electron spin the turbines here, it will go to an electron collector here. And this electron collector is called NADP+. NADP+, will collect two electrons and also one hydrogen ion. Where does this hydrogen ion come from? It's actually from the H2O that's being absorbed by the root of the plants. To form the hydrogen ion, this H2O must go through a process called photolysis. Photo in biology means light. 
This is means breakdown. The light is used to break down the H2O into H plus and the hydroxide ion. This hydroxide ion will release one electron. This electron will go back to the photosynthetic pigments and replace the empty space here. Once it releases the electrons, the OH will form the H2O and also oxygen. Okay, so let's come back to the NADP plus here. So this NADP plus, once it receives two electrons and also one hydrogen ion from the water molecule, it will form the NADPH. This NADPH is the second product of the light dependence reaction. And this NADPH is a reducing agent and it will be sent to the stroma for light independence reaction. So that's it for the light dependence reactions and I will do the light independence reaction in the next video. Stay tuned.